Yes, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about split. That is also one of the enterprise integration pattern. Okay. So in the last video, we discussed about choice. Otherwise, we will call it the content based route. So that is the enterprise integration pattern. Again, before that, we discuss about pipeline, multicast, all pa parallel processing, all these enterprise patterns we discussed in the earlier videos itself. In this video, we are going to target about split. What is the use of split? Okay. So for example, let me tell you one use case. Okay. For example, you, you are getting the, you are observing on input. You are getting the input from the, your request. Otherwise you have a input. Okay. So that input, you need to split it out and you need to pro, you need to send it to different routes. Okay. So otherwise you need to just split it out and you need to print it out. Okay. So for example, uh, I have some values, some couple of values. Okay. Maybe names list of names coming from one input okay so those names when i call one api right so maybe print print uh, username okay call that api i don't want to pass all the names right for example i have 10 names 10 names how uh, i need to call the two route for 10 times and i need to pass one by one one by one okay so basically i am observing the input i am splitting the input i am i am transforming into to i am just sending to two route okay so that is called as a split let's see one example so that it will be more understandable for you okay so let me create a sample class let me give it as a ap split route okay so the browse route builder Okay, so this is a route builder. We need to extend it out. Okay, so that we can get the unimplement methods where we can add the routes, right? So let me copy paste the rest again. I'm going with the rest. Okay. Okay, so let me go with the rest. Shall we go with the post? Yeah, let's try with the post. Names. Okay, list of names. names list okay so i'm just names list okay so basically we will get the input right so let me call this is the api okay so direct names list okay so from here i need to transform right so transform body right so basically how we will transform this is the you can you if you see the last video we can know that right so using the body Okay, let me type it out. It is very easy. Then I need to give it a string dot class. Okay, so whatever input is coming, I'm just trying to convert as a string. Okay, then here I'm going to do the split. After received the input, basically what I need to do, okay, the input will be in the body, right? I need to split based on some delimiter. Okay, so delimiter as maybe comma okay so based I, I let me send a couple of values with comma okay so based on that i need to call it to route right so dar direct let me give print sorry let me give print name okay so so yeah let me give one dot here so that it will be not through error okay now in the from let me call one from route okay right so here you can give the two what basically i need to do i need to log okay so what is that so this print name let me try to log this this route right let's see what it is printing okay so basically what i'm going to, going to do i'm going to call the one rest api so which is post there i'm going to send a couple of names with comma separator Okay, I'm going to con so I'm whenever I'm calling this, this split method will take care of splitting the input and those many times it will call this route and it will it has to print here. Okay, let's try to run this. Okay, so before that, let me annotate with component. Okay, so let me go. What is the name names, right? Names. Okay, so I do not header. So let me give some names like Vinod, Kama, 
मनोज कमा किशोर कमा जानी कमा रस्किन कमा टेस्टिंग ओके दिस इज अनफ ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू hit that okay so i done that the server is up and running okay so why only zero route route started zero route why what happened so this is the component let me okay so let me restart it okay bias while restarting i just typed that let me save it it should save that okay now you can get it out right three routes totally okay so let me stop this sorry let me clear the log let me try to hit this what happened i'm going to get the error nothing it is nothing it is not even responding okay so this is trying to see check this route as the route spelling is different see okay so it could not able to find the route so it it is throwing the error okay i ch just change that okay let's see now okay if you are not giving the correct route name then it will search for some time okay so as it is not see you can see the no consumer available for the endpoint names list because that was different right yeah now let me hit it see you can see it is giving exchange body it is first time it is giving the body as vinod then second time manoj kishor jani raskin if you are not adding this split right what basically will do it will it will give the only one exchange object right let me try to hit that without split so that you can understand the difference see now only one exchange object so that object is having all the names right so what i am going to do i i want to split that and i need to call those many times right so that is what i just added the split and now if i hit that it is same is printing five times so each time it is taking one by one names maybe if i if i remove couple of things only two names i am passing let me you can see that only two output was came now we know than manoj right let me clear and make sure you can understand very clearly right so hope you understood what is the use of split right split is nothing but to get the message and splitting into multiple messages okay that is the use of split interface integration pattern okay so thanks for watching hope you understood right thanks for watching bye bye